In this video, I'm gonna talk about my internship, which uh, took place in Belgium, Brussels, the capital city of that nation, and also the capital city of the EU, the European Union. It's a, a very specific country, in particular, where half of the people speaks the Dutch and the other half speaks French. So I had to struggle myself into this um, on on this path. And the hotel was Ramada Volu Hotel in the city of Brussels, but uh, a bit far far from the city town, city center, in the um, location of Volue. It was a four star hotel, um, around three hundred rooms. Um, it's a very nice and common hotel. Compared, it's not a resort. It's not something um, extremely um, unachievable. Uh, the feature comprises uh, like the gym and like one restaurant, one bar. It's very close to the airport, so it's very like fitting for people who do not have to stay for much time. It's very close to the airport, so you can reach it easily. It's very close even to the train station, in the town hall too. It's on the freeway. Uh, my internship department uh, was uh, first of all housekeeping department, where I was the housekeeping assistant manager. And I also work uh, in the F&B department as waiter and um, uh, kitchen boy. Um, I have, I had few problems at the beginning to face a new culture and new like uh, colleagues, especially grown people. I didn't have other interns to relate with, so I was kind of the newbie. But actually, after a, a long time, after a little struggle. I I started enjoying my internship and perform better than the beginning. My internship analysis and my learning objectives uh, have been posted uh, uh, at the beginning of my internship. I had quite good expectation on it because it was a, a very important position uh, in the hotel chart. Uh, I was the assistant uh, uh, assistant housekeeping manager. Um, my job was extremely easy because it was at the beginning uh, trying to understand on the on the field how it was working, how to speak French because I was no mother tongue so and nobody there spoke English so I had to struggle with this. Um, all the maids they were half Romanian half French so they were speaking a mixture between them and I had to like face the situation and take my measures of it. Um, I have been like. Mm, tested by my boss at the beginning of the, I mean, uh, week by week for what I have learned, uh, what did I learn, uh, who did I talk to, how was my teamwork, my progress is itself. Uh, I was kind of like in difficulties at the beginning because I didn't expect to be evaluated uh, like every week in a step by step process, but I thought it was more, um, I'm going to say, elastic. Um, I have learned how to struggle with these situations too. When you are not mother tongue and you don't know how to talk to people, even if they are like um, employees or they are your managers, you have to um, like put yourself into a uncomfort position and trying to uh, like strive to make it possible, make it work. You have to understand that the job training itself is not enough. You always to put yourself in. You have to always, sorry, um, make an effort for the others. So the others will like come uh, like approaching to you and help you um, during the whole internship. And after that, I moved to FMB because um, I had like uh, to. I wanted to have a more uh, special. Um, internship uh, regarding uh, like all the department possible and there was more difficult because I had to wake up at 5 a.m. practically every morning and meeting people who were um, different from my first uh, department because they were more under pressure they had to literally um, follow the guidelines and rules much more than like others people in the hotel and I have learned how to manage bad situations like in unexpected situation, eventually uh, I had to um, literally like push myself into something that I have never done before. Even like substitute someone without like the rightful um, knowledge for the job itself. Concerning my self uh, uh, assessment uh, regarding my strength, I have to say that um, 
I am a good team worker because I always uh, strive to make a good job for my uh, like teammates too. I try to make them involved as much as possible. I try to make my manager proud of what he's doing because if I do, if you do otherwise, if you do not follow the uh, guidelines, maybe he or he's gonna be upset and he's not gonna like trust you anymore. Which means that you have always to uh, make yourself like shining because you have to understand that you have to make what he wants you, what he wants you to do. Um, even in difficulties, you have to struggle with that. Um, it's like, it's the internship is supposed to be like a huge, huge fight with yourself. Um, it's um, something that you have to deal with because uh, if you don't deal with difficulties, you will never learn how to reach your objectives in life, which means that you have always to think that maybe you are wrong maybe you are not that doesn't matter you have always to make what your manager wants you to do and uh, if you do not improve that might affect terribly your internship and your life in it because it might quit and might be like you are not doing what you're supposed to do and i have thank god good teachers who helped me to understand this before i went to internship so i actually knew what I was expect like what I was about to do and how it was my mentor in my internship was has been very patient with me because at the beginning it was not easy because everything was in another language and I was not used to it so I was kind of afraid to fail or afraid to make something uh, like not like fitting with the expectation uh, I came there for um I've been competing too with other co-workers there. At the beginning, I was like kind of threat because um, you have always to understand that an intern is going to finish soon. Someone who is working there, he might see you as a threat coming over and stealing his job or like going there and doing nothing. So he's going to like being blamed for it. But um, it never happened. But I, because I've been very good into understanding how to solve this problem before it was coming. Um, my roles were not that difficult, to be honest, because uh, you have just to follow guidelines, more or less. The difficulties were like when something is unexpected. And if you don't know how to deal with that, um, I think you're just wasting your time.